ready to be oh, twirling right. and be who's who's ready to be gone with the wind fabulous? Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so hello everyone. I'm Lamford Beard. We're here at Entertainment Weekly's headquarters in New York with Kenya Moore and Candy Burris of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Season six is starting on Sunday, and we are super excited to have this Google Hangout with them. Yes. So I just wanted to start y'all out with a little wordplay. I like okay. a little wordplay. Okay. So I was wondering uh, from each of you, one word to sum up kind of the story, the journey of each of the housewives. This one season. word? That's oh. hard. But go ahead. You go first. So we'll start alphabetically. We'll go with Cynthia. Oh, you want us to do other people. Everyone. Um, Cynthia. You said one word to describe that? You can do more words. That's gonna be tough. <laughs> oh, I'll let you go first. She's going through a lot this year. Um, unstable. Oh. Mhm. Mm okay. Okay. You have one, Candy. Um. Mm. Mm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of a one-word situation, and I can't think of a one-word. You. We'll move on. Bankruptcy. No, but the season no. though. The season. Yeah. Well, anything. Though. The whole season. Is yeah, hard. Just for the season. Mm. You want to stick to the premiere? Stressful. That's stressful. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, so sounds like Miss Cynthia's got some things in store. So what's uh, what would be your word, Candy? Oh, well, mine should be stressful too. <laughs> I think, I, you know what? No offense to everybody else. Well, no, I, you know what? I, that would be unfair for me to say. I was about to say I felt like you know Cynthia and I had the most stress, but no, I take that back because you know Portia and you had some really crazy things going on as well. But um, yeah, to me, um, torn. Torn. Ooh. That would that's the word I give myself. That's mm -hmm. evocative. I like mm -hmm. it. So, what's your word for candy? Oh, for candy? Yeah. Um, mm. Well, one word came to mind, but I can't use that as a whole. Uh oh. Word. Um, <laughs> I'm scared. No, no, no. It was it. The word that I it immediately came to my mind is, it, for some reason, is loyalty. But that I wouldn't use to describe her her season. I would have to say. Um, I don't. I, it's not. A, it's like you know, um, growth. Okay. Do you feel like you're back in your pageant days with the timer? Like <laughs> no, because I was a lot better. Uh, I was in ooh, practice. I was a master at that. And so, what's your one word? Mine is um, introspective. Okay. Oh, she had to get all deep. But... <laughs> Mm. I said I needed two words for her. You can have two. Mine is provocative. I, I give you one provocative. She started. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Too hot for TV. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I got oh, you from the internet. Potster. We'll call it Potster. <laughs> uh, Potster. <laughs> That's a good hyphen it. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> um, so, Mimi. Housewife. Um, Rita. <laughs> yeah, we do. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, that's one that. Repeat. Blissful or. Yeah. Bliss, like, she's happy. Yeah. Mm. But happy. And then final one, Portia. We know lots coming up for Portia. Hmm. Re emergence? Oh. Mm hmm. Yeah, because now she has to fend for herself, mm -hmm. and I think she's figuring out how to do that. Mm -hmm. You know. That sounds hopeful. I'm worried about it Cynthia now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm concerned about no, Cynthia. No, 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 no. No, it's a, it's <laughs> I said the wrong thing because I described a situation instead yeah, of a saying season. the whole yeah. season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for the whole season, I'm trying to think for her. Um, what's the good word for a like a full turnaround. What's a good word? For Evolution. One eighty. Evolution. Yeah. No. Like she turned things Revolution. around. Yeah. Revolve. Revolve. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Evolve. Revolve. Yeah. Revolve yeah. is when you turn. Yeah. <laughs> that. Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right. So candy, you kind of started a little Twitter storm this week. 
Twitter star. 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 Twitter Oh, I was just trying looking, to take a picture with my swimsuit on the looking beach. Looking real foxy. <laughs> oh, you're talking about that picture. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, but it was a, it was chair sitting on the beach. Yep. And I was just really taking a picture of my swimsuit. I wasn't even thinking about Showing that. off the merch. Yeah, I wasn't <laughs> yeah. focused on it. She was looking hot. Um, but at any rate, you're going through, you're planning your wedding. This We're not planning the wedding. Okay. No. So there's We're not... not we're engaged still, but we're it's not, not immediate. Well, no, because of all the stuff that's going on that you will see this season. Okay. Um, my mother's not all too happy. Uh, for me, this is kind of like a repeat of my first season on this on the show when I was engaged. Um, yep. Second season of Housewives. Yep. And uh, but it's times ten this time. Mm. So if you watched the show back then, you kind of get an idea of what I mean, but it's way worse. Well, and actually, Andrew has a question about uh, your mom, Mama Joyce. <laughs> so I'll hand over to him. Yeah, yeah Candy, Candy. So, so what's the relationship between Todd, you, and your mother, Miss Joyce, right now? Um, it's best to keep them in separate. Keep them separate because right now. You know, whenever it's always tense when they're in the same room. I mean, Todd is cool, but my mom, she's, you know, she'll be mean or she'll say something negative or, you know, the energy is just, is just not right. Mm -hmm. So I just try to, like, keep them separate. Okay. And though eventually you will be planning a wedding, will you do it on the show? Or are you going to take tips from any other housewives? Well, see, that's the thing. Um, for me, I don't know if I actually want a wedding. Okay. Like I feel like, you know, I want to I definitely want to get married, but I'm not sure if I want the wedding because to me it's like, okay, with all this going on with my mom, like I feel like I wouldn't want to do a big to do and she's not going to be there. Yeah. Or if she came, she's not going to be pleasant. She's not going to be nice. So, you know, do you want to have that negative energy? I don't prefer that. What I'm hoping for is that things turn around soon, mm -hmm. and then we could plan a wedding. But see, Todd is like, you know, because I was like, oh, we could just go to the courthouse and do it like that. Yeah. But Todd is like, that's not fair to him because he would like to have the wedding. So I have a question that people, someone is tweeting me, should I read it? Yeah. Okay, so Strawberry Blueberry mm -hmm. wants to know. Strawberry Blueberry. Oh, that's there. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, tell me more about your figure. Well, what do they want to know? <laughs> <laughs> she has a DVD that she's working out. It will yeah. have a tank top on. You can see it. Yeah. <laughs> um, my secrets are all revealed in Booty Boot Camp. Um, Which we reviewed for EW. Oh, yes, you did. We Thank you for the, the edge over Miss Pedro Park. Yes, you did. No shade to Pedro. Yes. <laughs> I have a great DVD. I'm very proud of it. Um, I am, you know, I'm an avid a per, a person who loves to work out. Um, I love being active. I love doing everything. I love to hike. I love to swim, play volleyball, basketball, just any and everything. I, I'm adventurous. So mm -hmm. if it involves something physical, I'll do it. In terms of like helping to maintain your figure, I think I have little tricks. Um, I don't necessarily deprive myself of anything, especially food. Um, but if you just try to eat small portions throughout the day, so instead of trying to eat three meals, eat five. Mm -hmm. You know, um, but in small, everything that usually can fit on a little plate, like a side plate. So that's sort of like one of the secrets. Mm -hmm. And drink lots of water and be healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds sounds good. We got some here, and so. But I did uh, returning to weddings and people not showing up potentially. I did want to ask you, Kenya. Oh, you do. You were a no show at uh, Nene's wedding. Oh, that's right. At the end, and can you talk about that? I know you weren't happy that Walter was there. Yeah. Um. 
I, I definitely was not happy to learn that. And um, I just think as a girlfriend or someone who you're getting to know, if you already know the history you have with someone and it isn't a good history, mm -hmm. then if I'm going to have make a choice to have that person at any kind of arena that I'm inviting them to, I should just say to my girlfriend, hey, this person is going to be there. I just want to let you know. If that makes you uncomfortable, then that's her choice if she doesn't want to come or not. But at least as a girlfriend, I'm doing my duty to say, hey, um, I have this person coming. Just wanted to let you know, you know, you can make your own choice. And um, I think that's just the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. That's the kosher thing to do. And that didn't happen. But, you know, so I'm sort of glad I didn't go. And it's not the only source of conflict between you and Nini this season. We had a clip of yeah. that disagreement y'all have. Yes, yes. Um, that was crazy because uh, it was sort of the catalyst for a lot of crazy happening that night. <laughs> and uh, you will see in due time that that blows up so big and so out of control. And uh, this one right here, <laughs> this one right here totally went ham, but yet I am the one who took the heat for everything, so we'll see. Oh, we're getting to that later, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She got it all jumped off. Whatever. <laughs> we'll see what y'all think when that episode comes on. I'm intrigued. So I'm going to turn it over to Jake, uh, who's out in AW's LA office. What's your question, Jake? Hey, Jake. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Very, very big fan. Uh, I want to know... Last season, a lot of drama happened in Anguilla. So what happens when all these housewives get together, go on these lavish vacations and tight quarters? Obviously, it's a lot of pressure. So what do you guys think about all these vacations you go on? And we have some potential for that this season with Savannah, too. Yeah, you know, Savannah and in Michigan. Yeah, I think it's just it's a recipe for disaster. You, are, you have to travel with people that you don't necessarily like um, or you've had a disagreement with that isn't resolved and you're put into you know planes with each other you're sharing you know villas with them you're having to go to dinners with them you're looking at this person almost 24 hours a day for four or five days at a time it's torture so it's obviously at some moment you're going to confront that person or something's going to happen right. but you know it's so crazy that I think it's funny every well especially this season each time we went on a trip, I was thinking, ah, this is going to be boring. Nothing's going to happen. Right. You know, like, to me, I really thought, like, Savannah, I was like, I don't think of Savannah, it's going to be boring. Right. And then it turned out crazy. Then when we um, went on this last trip, I was thinking, okay, well, you know, I don't know how it's going to be, but the first day was kind of cool. So I was like, okay, we'll make it through it. Right, right, right. Man, if it didn't turn into some craziness again. <laughs> but I, <laughs> I feel like um, this year we have the most blow-ups of any season that we've ever had. Like most seasons, I, I felt like it was like only one or two major, you know, like say for instance, one year was what they call it, baby gate or whatever, oh, yeah. uh, the black baby gate or whatever. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, and then they had the talls and the smalls year, and they had the this and the that. It was like always like one or two main themes that he held on through the whole season. Well, this year, it's like so many different things going on. It's like just constant, constant, constant drama. I don't think people will be able to narrow it down like they did the past season. Okay. I'm... Um, so we're in Mexico. They teased Savannah in the premiere, uh, premiere preview. Mm -hmm. But tell me more about Mexico. Well, we we didn't say where we went yet. Okay. <laughs> Keeping it on under wraps. But um, margaritas are probably well. Involved. The the, the <laughs> property was amazing. I can tell you that it was a beautiful setting. Um, and. Uh, there were there were a lot of uh, it was a lot of tension I would have to say mm -hmm. and it had to be resolved one way or the other mm -hmm. and uh, things had to be talked about and things had to be discussed talked about resolved confronted and people needed to tell the truth 
Oh, yes. throwing down. People needed to tell throwing the truth the instead of. That's in her, her particular situation. <laughs> <laughs> she was talking about her own little thing she had going on. But there were other things, you know, that was going on as well. It wasn't just about Kenya Moore. I, I didn't say anything. I said people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we do have some questions rolling in from people in the Hangout. Uh, okay. So uh, from Sagit Sher, she says, uh, Candy, you're, you're a great example of a modern day entrepreneur. What do you most enjoy working on? Is it Real Housewives, your music career, bedroom candy, or something else? Um, Everyone wants to know about bedroom candy all the time. Bedroom candy. <laughs> Bedroomcandy.com and get yourself spice of your life. Um, well, I think that, I mean, I'll, creatively, I love music. Yep. You know, it's, I, I'll do that for free. You know, like, honestly, I, I do music every day, all day. And so that's, like, my passion. Um, but I do love all my other business ventures as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think Jen actually had a question about your, your many endeavors, and I'll let her ask it. Sure. Uh, Candy, so um, you work with Nose Scrubs. I'm sorry, with Nose Scrubs. You wrote Nose Scrubs for them. Um, I was wondering, did you watch the VH1 by Albing, and what did you think of it? I did watch it. I loved it. I thought it was great. I thought they did, did a great job. I love the actresses that were playing the, you know, their parts or whatever. Um, I mean, I loved it. I mean, I hate that there's so much controversy after the movie, but, you know, some people are like, oh, they didn't show everything. But I'm like, how much could they show in two hours? You cannot show their entire career in that two-hour span and get every single thing. You know, they had a lot of hits. They, you know, had a lot of things happen in that time period. So I felt like they did a great job showing what they did. It was great for the fans. I mean, some feelings are going to get hurt if you tell a true story because how I felt about you may be different about how you feel about yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I loved it. Okay. And that's a, a question about, you know, you watch that, I'm assuming, uh, on the go or in your downtime. We have another question from Old School Dominique asking, uh, what is your favorite hobby to do during your downtime? Going to the movies. Movies? I Any stay at recent the favorites? Movie theater. I like to travel. Honestly, when we have two days off, usually on the night before I'm on a plane, and um, I just love traveling. Mm -hmm. yeah. but favorite destinations? Not Mexico, I'm assuming. <laughs> um, I, I like Mexico. Um, hmm. Brazil. Ah, yeah, I've been there. Oh, I love Olympics and World Cup coming up. I know it's gonna, going to be so crazy. I love Brazil. Probably my favorite. To get the carnival. I the booty. I haven't been to carnival. I think you're needed at carnival. Oh, I hear it's so crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always during the time that I'm working. Every yeah. every year, every year. So y'all have been kind of making the rounds this week, and I saw y'all were both on Bethany, mm -hmm. and it reminded me like there are just not enough Housewives crossovers. Mm -hmm. I want to see the crossover apps. What would be y'all's either uh, franchise or specific Housewives you'd love to kind of like crossover with? Hmm. Well, I'm friends with uh, Joanna from um, Miami. Mm -hmm. So I and I love her. She's so cool. I, I like a lot of them actually. Mm -hmm. um, MJ from oh no, that's a, a different show. Um, I would have to say I'd like to do something with Joanna. Um, and some of the other ones they're funny to me, like uh, Lisa Vanderpump is yeah. funny. They're also premiering uh, yeah. the night after. Atlanta premieres. The yes. Big Beverly Hills. Uh huh. It's exciting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we will make an interesting crossover team. Well, no, they're not coming on our night. They're coming on. What she say? It's the next night. The next night. Yeah. Oh, okay. She adds about crossover. Mm hmm. Um, I love the New Jersey cast. Yep. They're really cool. Seeing you know, they're seeing more like mm -hmm. people I I can hang out with now to be, you know the people that I actually talk to and I hear from often, Ramona, which I'm sure a lot of people would not think that <laughs> she and I would keep that in is, touch. That's, an, that's a buddy cop comedy right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ramona uh, from New York and 
I still hear from Jill Zarin, even though she's no longer a part of their cast, but she's always been super nice to me, and Sorry. I really like her. Sorry, at Nini's wedding. Yeah. That was like the ultimate Housewives and Bravo generally kind of crossover episode. I guess you're right. There are lots of Bravo people there. For me, it was a feast. Ah! <laughs> oh, you like that. You like to see the different um, shows. So I don't have to write the fan fiction, you know. <laughs> For the audience of the people who are watching, please submit questions and we'll answer them for you guys. We want to know what do you want? Burning questions. I have a question too from. Um, She's pulling her own questions. I see. I know. They're from. Uh, let's see. This, this one is from. Boys and Berry Huckleberry this time. <laughs> Someone asked, well, okay, let's see, that's a tough one. Someone asked me, am I going to have a new love interest on this season? Mm. Well, that, that, that feels into the pajama party, I believe. Was that a pajama party? Um, Where the big dust-up hat was? Yes. I saw satin. Yeah, yeah it's supposed to be like so. sexy lingerie. Yeah, I saw bustiers in satin, so I'm yeah. assuming it's a I almost party. came about a mine. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> So what's it, it seemed like Apollo was coming at the guy that you had brought to the party, Kenya. It seems that way, doesn't it? At least in the, you know, quick cut preview. It appears so that way. Can you clarify? Can you talk on it? It does, it does appear that way. Um, and uh, I think Apollo may have a problem with um, anyone I might bring around. I'm not sure. Okay, so <laughs> uh, you, you wonder why people try to say that stuff about you. Because not you about fly something that has nothing to do with saying, you. I'm saying that say it word is word a problem. First and foremost, that is not how that situation got popped off, okay? You have like to she watch said it. earlier, there was a lot that went on that evening. That's true. That <laughs> it, just went, it just went from one blow up to another, to another, to another. So it was just kind of like people who probably never even had an issue with each other ended up having no, issues. No, I think that's not true. I think that people who had uh -huh. an issue, no, that's not true. Because I think with your situation, my situation, I didn't have an issue with that person be prior to that day. Prior to when we were all together drinking at the other location, I thought that was a carryover. I thought there were some. Wait a minute. Gosh, I didn't have a problem. She had a problem with you. No, we're not, yeah. we talk, we're not talking about the same person. We can't. I'm we talking can't. about who I ended up having going crazy about, on. This is what I'm we'll wondering. Talk about yeah, yeah, okay. This is what I'm wondering about. Well, we can't tell. Oh, but it was Because the, you're so normally so level-headed, and you're, like, not getting into it, and okay. you were screaming in that preview. Well, okay. Yeah. Let me say this. This season, I have been under extra stress. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> and I definitely would say this year our show is produced differently. Meaning that um, typically in the past, the producers that we had, if we didn't feel like taping that day, or we was like, I'm not taping that day, whatever, whatever, then they wouldn't press us to be there. So if like I'm already feeling a certain kind of way about a person and I won't be around them, then I'm not going to be around them. But this year, Carlos, <laughs> he does not take no for an answer. Okay. So say for instance, I'm a person, I need a moment to, who's up? And then I can be totally calm. Okay, but if you, I can't do a lot of back and forth, because if it, if I get to the point where I'm, you know, all that pressure is building up, then I just explode. Okay, and that's what we see. Yes, I've had a few moments this year where I had a, you know, little moments where I, you know, she went ham. Yeah, went off on okay, somebody. She went but ham. on that particular one, I was about to fight somebody because I'm already having a heated conversation. We're all, they okay, I have, a, I have a crazy they question. Did this. Somebody just don't touch me, and we having a heated conversation. Okay. Oh, so I just looked up. Um. Okay, so someone just sent me a question. Kenya, are you pregnant? You look full in a bit prego in this picture. What picture? I don't know. He's what just a friendly a... fan you have. <laughs> yeah. So um And you were just talking about your fitness. I don't see the picture <laughs> that they attached. What's the picture? Oh, in this picture? I'm seeing the shirt. Yeah, they I'm look seeing good the shirt in person and you look <laughs> Let's just move But this on. would be a no good no this oh, would, there it is. 
<laughs> you do look pregnant. This would be a good, a good shirt to hide a pregnancy. Wink, wink. Okay, the other thing is... Always send it off. The other thing is, question for Kenya Moore and Candy. What does it feel like to watch yourselves on your show and relive moments from the past? That's a good question. Mm, um, I hate that. Yeah, I that's hate it too. We'll be asking you again in a year. <laughs> well, that's the thing. When you, when you film and then when the show airs, it's you know, four, six months later. And what you had forgotten about or forgiven or moved on from is brought back up and dredged up. And so now you have to relive those emotions all over again. And then on top of that, you have to see what other people are saying about you behind your back. Mm -hmm. So it's very difficult. Um, but hey, I guess that's the... Uh... Definitely for me, that's how a lot of... Um, arguments and different things end up happening. That's why you're so mad by the time that the, the um, reunion. reunion comes along. Mm -hmm. Because what other people say. Yeah, we don't get to see the um, show and you know, we don't know what's gonna be seen until it comes on air like two days before. We get our mm -hmm. copies of each episode like the Thursday before it comes on TV. So if she's dogging me out in her <laughs> interview, I don't know that. So I may have forget, you know, forgave her for something, and then I see it, and I see what she said about me, and then I'm heated again. So we have to watch this whole season, and then it's time for us to do the reunion. So by that time, everybody's already on edge. When yeah. we get there, I promise you, I was feeling so stressed out before last year's yeah. reunion. I was like, you didn't stressed. get into any beef with anyone. I didn't, but in my mind, like to me, some of the ladies on our show, they kind of like try to dig up stuff so yeah, they, they can like try to hit you with it at the um, reunion, you know, like pulling out crazy <laughs> stuff. So I don't know what to expect. I don't know if they're going to be coming at me crazy or whatever. So I'm always feeling like I'm on edge, like, okay, yeah. what's going to happen? No, not you. Right. And so we also edge. have a question from Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> what I'm saying. Are you I really mean, asking me that question? I think everybody feels on edge. Because, you know, you, you, you see the crazy things that people say about you. Most of them are untrue. Most of them are malicious and just horrible and you wonder like how would how could they even in good conscience say those things knowing that they're not true but it's a you know it's a part of what we signed up for a part of and it's something that we we definitely have to go through we have to understand and then we have to be able to confront the person at the end of the season why did you say that to me why did you <laughs> and that's why you have the blow ups yeah, yeah. see think about it a lot of times we may think something, right? But we may not say it out loud. And that's what keeps the peace. But if right. I have to say out loud what I'm actually thinking, which is what the interviews are. Right. And then I have to see you and we have to address it. They force us to address it with these mm -hmm. questions. That makes things the sudden it's, hospitality is it's out the window. Away. Yeah. Ripped away. So we have time for one more question from Jody. What Hi lady. Hi. Uh, Hi. Uh, I'm wondering. wondering. Things get pretty extreme. Obviously, there are kind of dramatic circumstances on these shows and in these seasons. So, what are some things that you've learned about yourself, or that you've been surprised about yourself while doing this show? And then, what are some things that have surprised you about the other ladies in the cast? Mm -hmm. um, I think what surprised me the most about myself is that. Um, I have a lot more patience than I thought that I have. <laughs> are you kidding me? You are joking, right? Can you stop it? <laughs> Don't think that about yourself. I have a lot more patience than I thought I had. Is she serious? <laughs> Can you come up with another one? Because I'm not going for that one. No, that's not going to work. Candy's roasting me right now. <laughs> I do. I feel like I have wrong, and I'll, I'll give you a for instance. When other people were brought into, you know, our circle, mm -hmm. um, I only really went off on those people. But the people, the girls in our circle, when things would come up, I would try to talk about it. Now, tell me that's not true. If some stuff came up, I wanted to talk. I'm like, okay, I heard this, I heard that. Will you please talk to me? Okay, I'm available to you if you want to talk to me. I'm sorry I, okay. if I made you feel you that did, way. You did a yeah. lot more back and forth with actual people that are part of the show, yes. Well, what I'm saying is that requires patience on my part because for me, I, I had to force myself to actually deal, relate, 
to the other ladies versus just whatever, get out of my face kind of a thing, which I think I was more so last season. I think this season I wanted the ladies to get to know me better. And so I sort of took, I took the time to, you know, in my mind, be patient to go, okay, let me try this. Let me, let me just pace myself versus anybody else who came in. I was like, you know, and, um, so I, I see it, and if other people don't see it, I definitely see it in myself. Mm. Okay. Candy, now you answer. Hmm. <laughs> um, oh, what did I learn about myself? Oh, that's a good one. What did I learn? About your mom, for one. Oh, well, see, that was going on before. No, but what you resolved that you have to do. In that situation. Boy, do I have to do? I still don't know. Oh, okay, okay. Well, we'll talk about that later. I mean, I think everybody has their opinions on what I should do, but I, I will not. I guess you know, you know what? Well, I already knew this before I, that I will not stand up to my mom. Yeah, that's. <laughs> but I already knew that before. I knew that before the show. I didn't have to do this show to know that. Um, but um. What have I learned about myself? That I can be a ticking time bomb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. That's good. The clock starts Sunday at uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nine o'clock. Sunday at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock Eastern. Yes. Eight Eastern and Central. Central. Anything unexpected y'all learned about others? <laughs> Plenty. Too much to say. Yeah. That's, why we have, that's why we have to watch. I don't want to give up storylines. Yeah, so. Plenty. Right. Plenty. Plenty. Well, thank you both so much for coming and hanging out with us. Thanks, everyone out there, for doing a Google Hangout with Entertainment Weekly. And uh, Kenny Moore and Candy Burris of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Tune in yes. Sunday night at 8 o'clock Eastern and Pacific. And follow us on Twitter at Kenya Moore and Candy. Candy. K A N D I. Hey, can I say something else? Yeah. <laughs> if you're in Atlanta, November 22nd, 23rd, or 24th, make sure you come to my play that this musical that I'm writing and producing is called Candy Burst, and Ty Tucker presents A Mother's Love and Portia's in it, okay? But then also D. Woods from Danny Kane, Eddie wow. Levert from the OJs, Hugh Parker from the Group 112, Shirley Murdoch. Star studded. Yeah, it's more stars, but. It's a big deal for me. You know, I told you I'm, I'm passionate about my music now. And I wrote all the songs. I collaborated um, with someone to help me develop the script, but it's amazing. And I really, really want you guys to come see it. So if you're coming to Atlanta right before Thanksgiving, or if you're coming to Atlanta for Thanksgiving, come a couple of days before, go to the play. <laughs> there you go. Did you guys start selling tickets yet? Yeah, you can get your tickets at, um, go to candyonline.com and it has a link to go to get your tickets. And if you happen to peruse bedroom candy after that, that's exactly. fine. No big deal. <laughs> you get if you go to Amazon giving. and buy the booty boot camp, that's yes, cool. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you everyone Bye, for everybody. coming to hang out. Have a good weekend and tune in on Sunday.